How to connect the internet on Houston firewall? In the real scenario, we always have multiple types of link connections to get an IP address from SP carrier. For example, we can get public IP address from PPPoE link, DHCP link, and also include static IP address. In this video, I'm going to introduce how to connect the internet via these three network links in the root mode. So first, let's take a look at this topology. I built this live on the Voltu platform, EVE Next Generation System. We know Houston has published the Voltu products. They can run on the public cloud, like Amazon, Azure, Adi Cloud, and also can run on the Voltu platform. For example, VMware, Hyper-V, and KVM. In this slide, Houston Voltu firewall run on the KVM. I have finished the link connections. So we have three firewalls. The first one connects through the internet and use a static public IP address. The second one use the DHCP protocol to get public IP address. And the third one is PPUE link. So this is the topology in the root mode. Uh, for the, from this picture, we can also see they all have instead subnet. For the first one, the subnet is 192.168.10.0 slash 24. The second one is 20.0 and the third one is 30.0. These are private IP addresses. That means we need the source net tran translation for them to internet. For the management, the hardware always has a fixed IP address. 192.168.1.1 on the Ethernet 0 slash 0. But for the Voltu firewall, it's a little different. Interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 doesn't have a static IP address. The default configuration is getting an IP address from DHCP protocol. So in this slide, I have a management network to connect the Ethernet 0 slash 0. But first, we should log in through console to get this IP address. So let's log in the firewall with user and password. So we can click this picture and log in the console. So this is the Houston firewall 1 and tap in the user and the password, Houston. After we log in the console, we can use some command line. For example, show interface. So we can see 0 slash 0 has the IP address. And also we can check the configuration, show configuration interface 0 slash 0. So this is the default configuration, we can see 0 slash 0 can get IP address from DHCP. So after that, we can log in through this IP address and through the HTTPS protocol. So we can use the web browser to log in the firewall and click and click the select the language English and select Tap in the user and the password. So this is how to log in the web browser. How to log in the firewall through web browser. And the next, the, the second one is also the theme. So we can also click this firewall, Houston 2, and tap in the user and password and get the IP address 219. So we can also log in this firewall. So it's the same. So this is second firewall. 
and the third one is also the same. If we want to finish this configuration, we can also follow these six steps. So we can see the six steps. The first one, to configure interfaces. And because we have a firewall and the divide the network two parts, outside interface and inside interface, we need to select a security zone and trust the zone for outside interface and trust the zone for interface inside interface. The second one is to create root. In this scenario, each firewall only have only has one link to internet, so we will create default root on firewall. The third step to create source net translation, because we have private subnet inside, they need to be translated before going to internet. The next step is to build security policy rule. This rule will decide the package to pass or block by firewall. And after we finish the firewall configuration, we can do some test. And also don't forget the DNS IP address on firewall because the firewall need to get the signature from online. So we need to give the DNS server on firewall. So let's finish the configuration on the firewall. First, we need to configure the interface. And the first one, we select the Ethernet 0 slash 4 because this one is the outside interface. The IP address is 202.1.1 and the public IP address is .2. And the gateway is 1.1. So we can tap in the IP address and select the untrust zone. And the net mask. If you need to connect the firewalls through outside, you can enable the management, but we don't recommend you manage the firewalls through outside. And we can click OK. This is the outside interface. And the outside and the inside interface is 0 slash 1. And also as a gateway for the inside subnet. So we can see select the 0 slash 1 and select the trust zone and tap in the IP address 10.1 and 24. And also we can enable the management and click OK. This is the interface configuration. This one is a static public IP address. And after that, we need to create default root. And uh, click this one. And uh, the default root is that de destination is any. That means all IP address is zero, include all the IP address. And the gateway is 202.1.1.1. This is the uh, gateway. After that, we click the policy page and click net and create the source net. So you can see we need to select the source IP address. If you want to all the inside IP address to go outside, you can select any. And the destination select any because we don't know where we want to go to internet. And select the egress interface and select 0 slash 4. For the translate, we will use this IP address for the translation. So we can select the egress interface IP address and click OK. And the fourth step is to create policy rule. Because the inside interface bound to trust the zone, and outside interface is untrust zone. If we want all the traffic to go outside, we can select service any and action permit and click OK. So this is the basic configuration and don't forget the DNS because the 
firewall need to update the signature. So we need to input the DNS and after that you can see this is uh, manually. Why they have a DHCP DNS? Because zero slash zero is a DHCP. So they can get an IP address and also get a default root. So you can see here. And if we want to use only one internet, we can delete this interface. So we can also shut down this interface after we finish the configuration. The second one is the same. So we can also log in the interface through the, uh, this interface and tap in the public IP address and select the untrust zone and select DHCP. After we select DHCP menu, you can see there also have another menu. If we enable this menu, you can get a default root automatically so we don't need to create manually so after that we can create the click ok so you can see they have a default root through the uh, through the internet so this is the dgcp link so the rest of the configuration is the same to create policy and create the source net and click OK and the source net any and destination any and because we have uh, in public interface is 0 slash 4 and click OK if you want to get the net log you need to click advanced configuration and enable the net log after that we can click monitor it's a little noticey so after that we can enable the monitor and select the net log enable the net configuration log so after that you can see some logs if we want to do some test we can click this pc so we can see the ip address we, I have finished the PC configuration, so we can do some tests. For example, pin Google, because in, I don't have the, so I cannot pin Google. So we will click another one and uh, pin the DNS so because we need to uh, enable disable this interface for because the zero slash zero also a public public IP address so we need to shut down this interface and also click Houston one and shut down so after that, we can try test again. So let's check the configuration. To see the root and the policy and the source net. So we have finished this one. Uh, so for this one, we forget the instead interface so let's use the command line to give the IP address zone trust and IP address is the gateway 20.1 and manage pin after that we can test again so it's okay and also we can test the PC1 Uh, also some row so we need to stop and start so after that we can pin some 
website. So you can see this is the configuration. We finished this uh, static public IP address and DHCP. And also we have another one is PPPoE link. So we can click this one and to check the IP address. So this is the IP address 220. After that, we can log in through the web browser and select English language and log in this firewall. And click the network interface, select the fourth interface and the layer 3 zone and trust. And select the PPOE. After you select the PPOE, you need to Tap in the user and password. If you have a real link, you can get a user and password from carrier. So, and uh, after that, you need to select this menu to get the default route automatically. Because from PPOE link, we don't know the next gateway. So we must have enabled this menu to get the default route. And the rest of the configuration on Houston 3 is the same. You also need to create the source net and policy rule. So this is the configuration how to connect internet on Houston firewall. We are also planning to do more videos and share Houston technology. It includes three parts, basic configuration, basic function. Second is advanced function, includes some complex functions. And the new features in the new Imagine. Please keep your attention on our weekly update. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more from Houston, Please feedback and let us know which function will be more priority and send us the email.